Hey guys, what's up? Today we are going to internally route the new PW Coast on my steel hardtail. This is definitely DIY. This bike has been a project bike during COVID. So if you do this on your brand new frame, it's definitely going to void the warranty from the manufacturer. So I'd recommend getting an old project bike to try this with. I used one of these drill bits. It has the diamond tip. I marked my spot. Kind of drilled in that angle first. And then I ended up coming down and kind of boring this out to get a little bit of a smooth finish to be able to put my grommet in. Next thing we're gonna wanna do is take our screw Take our lever. This is the loam lever. You can see the machined groove in there. You'll want to make sure that you have this barrel adjuster all the way in, like that, where you see the threads. Then you can pick a hole that you want to do here. Next thing we'll do is go ahead and remove the old seat post. So now we're, what we're going to want to do is measure this. So we're going to go ahead and put the housing in the frame. Until it comes out the seat tube. We'll take our new P&W Coast dropper, 27.2, 120 mil travel, internally routed. Pretty cool. Put one of our caps on the end. And then what we're gonna do is set this here. And we're gonna kind of push down in the seat tube slowly. It's kind of at the same pace as the housing. So just kind of slowly push down and pull at the same time. And I'm going to leave mine right at the 27.2 mark, right about there. And I'm going to bring, because this frame was not made for an internally routed, I'm going to bring this up the frame here. I think I'm going to bring it around this way. And then you're going to want to put this housing in the barrel adjuster to measure. You're going to want to turn the bars 90 degrees in case of an accident. Make sure you've got enough housing. That looks pretty good. So we'll go ahead and take this out now so we can put in our cable. Kind of take out and push at the same time. We'll go ahead and start feeding this in through the top. So about right there, you notice that came out our other end. I want to put our other cap on this end. Right in here you can see how this is going to go. Go ahead and tighten down our seat post. We'll go ahead and feed this through the barrel adjuster into the machined groove. And then there's a little screw under here that we want to get our cable under and then I'm going to have the lever all the way out pull the cable taut
and then we will tighten this down. And then we can go ahead and trim the cable. Take any slack out of the barrel adjuster. And it says we can go between 200 and 300 psi with our high pressure shock pump. And let's go ahead and test it out. All right guys, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something or like this video. So if you do, go ahead and subscribe. I'm gonna be in Colorado a lot this summer doing Colorado single track. Um, continue to ride here locally and do these bike upgrade videos. So stick around, hit the bell, hit the sub, and uh, I'll make another one soon.